Hey there and welcome. It's Minecraft Graham, the Geeky Minecrafter, coming at you with another in the Let's Play series. In today's episode, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of where we are on our skeleton farm and uh, be able to show you what's, uh, what's what. So, if you'll recall from the last episode, we found a skeleton, uh, skeleton spawner. JD, Naz, and I cut this all out, added some uh, water buckets, some ice, built a tunnel, a water elevator that goes up. And we're moving them fairly quickly out of this area, 16 uh, blocks, till they're outside there. Let me take you to the first AFK station, give you just a quick tour. So what we did was we came up a level just over where our lighting is. Now I do have a, a switch that I can turn on and off so that as you can see it pops up the lights and although we do get an occasional spawn right over there for the most part it does turn the spawner off so let's turn that back on now this is an AFK station you can come stand right here and watch as the skellies uh, spawn and drop in and flow underneath you I do also have a second uh, AFK station and I, I did a lot of testing to make sure that you know I'm still within my 16 block spherical radius uh, I do still see them spawning in down here uh, so but this is the max level that you you have to be here or below in order for the spawner to work our next level is the storage level the sorting area so what we've done is I'll, I'll show you in a moment up, upstairs but all of the this is the kill zone the auto drop auto kill and then this hopper right here that I'm pointing to is the hopper that comes down from the uh, XP grinder. So we've put a switch on the farm so that if we're downstairs AFK, we can throw the switch and they'll automatically die and, and all the drops will flow into here. As you can see, a little bit of testing, it's, it's, uh, it's been cranking out some good stuff. So they'll, these will fill up from here to here and then here to here here to here, here to here. We're going to capture just plain bows here. I've got a little stuff I threw in there. And then this is our overflow right here. By the time things fill up to this chest level, we need to have an automatic disposal system. So the next part of the farm, right up here, we are getting a little bit of lag. I've been down there AFK for a while. So this is the XP grinder. Basically, um, if you want, you throw the switch outside. I'll show you that in just a moment. You throw the switch outside. They will flow into this chamber and just wait on you. You walk up and hit them. What? Ow! They're gone. Now, those with armor do require more than one hit frequently. Um, but for the most part, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite a bit of XP all at once. Now, this is... Let me just check around here. Okay. This is the drops grinder. So with this up, see that water right there? Watch that. Let me do it again. See how it turns off? JD Naz, would you mind going down into the AFK station for I just am a in second? I'm the AFK station right now. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Keeping the flow going. This is coming up. They're dropping about four every 30 seconds. Oh, perfect. So with this switch up, this is the drops grinder, meaning that top switch is open, and they will fall out of there. Now, they do kind of get bottlenecked right there. Um, we did quite a bit of experimenting. Uh, JD Naz ma managed to work out the, uh, the timing of getting both the pistons in opposite directions side by side. Well, that was pretty cool. So basically what happens is one piston retracts, opening up that hole. Another piston comes forward. Uh, giving them a place they bonk their heads on. So that water flow is interrupted and they're, they're, they're stacking up right here. Well, as soon as one comes in over his head, let me just look around for mops, uh, it knocks him down the hole. They fall into this little bit deeper chamber, die, and their drops hit our input section in that large four or six square item that I just showed you. So one person can come here in AFK for drops or you can flip this switch AFK for 10 or 15 minutes and then run up here and kill them 
run back downstairs, AFK for 10 or 15 more minutes, and then kill him. Now, I will tell you, <laughs> first test I ran was last night for AFK. Uh, about, I want to say, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, something like that. I came in here, set myself up on AFK. Came in about 6 a.m., and there were over 1,000 entities in here. Uh, my frame weight was down to four, <laughs> per, four frames per second. So it took me quite a while to walk from downstairs all the way up here and kill them. Uh, but I was eventually able to do that. Oh, look at them stacking up in there. They're two or three deep coming up the elevator chute. <laughs> Naz, they're, they're being buddies. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming up now, so it's just off the flow. I'll leave it okay. on, but I'm coming up. Yeah, it does take about 90 seconds to, to you know, to um, anywhere from 90 seconds to three minutes for the last skeleton to flow all the way through the system and, and fall down. Uh, depends on, you know, what direction they're going and how many, how much, many they get stacked up in there. So let me show you what it looks like from outside. We have dubbed it the Temple of Doom. <laughs> And have a few ideas for what we want it to look like. Uh, we haven't settled on any one thing. But that's the XP farm. The torch tower that turns those pistons on and off. And let me show you that mechanic. Because uh, I'm really proud of what, what he came up with there. Let's head up here. Hope there are no mobs up here. I don't think I lit it up very well. I'm still coming up the elevator. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a few though. Yeah, I put a I put an observation window in here so I could see them as they flow by. Say hi. Ooh. He keeps going. He he does try to back up there. So as you can see, there's this piston that's extended that that completes the floor. This piston is retracted, which uh, contains a block that's currently the wall. When these positions reverse, this piston extends and becomes a block to the walkway. This piston retracts and opens up the floor so that they drop through. So I very can ingenious. Flip the if you want. Oh, while I'm up here, sure, that'd be okay. good. Uh, here we go. Okay, everybody, there you go. See, I'm just reverse, and so now let me get up here on this observation tower. Uh, I may need to jump right here. Oh, goodness. I fell in a hole. Again. Get out. Hold on, hold on. We all know I'm no good at parkour. <laughs> okay, there it is. Let's see, can I go up one more? No, I'm bumping my head here. So what I was trying to show you is what they look like extended. But I, I think it's enough... I think you get the idea here. Extended, retracted. There it is. Re extended, retracted. They just reverse. So really good, uh, really good design. That's kind of bulky. I'm sure it can be optimized a little bit, but you know that's not my job. I I just want it to work. <laughs> so there you go. This is the Temple of Doom, brought to you by the Geeky Minecrafter, Minecraft Grand. You see Jim in my background there. Let's go back. Jump up. Jim, wave. Wave at us. Wave at us. Okay, till next time, happy mining. <laughs>